live here right away. Uh, let's mute. Welcome to Sunday Night Against the Dark Master. We haven't done this for a whole nine months. I looked it up before we started the stream. It's been nine months since we played Dark Master Against the Dark Master, but we're back because it is live right now on Kickstarter with the actual campaign, and they have been so kind to give us the next piece of the adventure that's going to be included in the book. It's a three-part adventure. We did the previous part that was available uh, to everyone previously, the Beast of Willow Lake. And now we have Winds of War, the second part. So we're going to be playing that for the next couple weeks. I know we were doing Zweihander, but we're doing a slight detour while the Kickstarter is on for Against the Dark Master. Uh, let me find the link here for everybody in the chat. If you haven't already checked out the campaign, please do so. It is a 
rather kick-ass game it, it's a um oh a retro clone of merp and um roll master thank you roll master <laughs> i couldn't remember i was like middle earth role playing and merp <laughs> it's the same game loser uh merp and roll master so it's a retro clone of that so think like Zweihander is a retro clone of Warhammer or a loving tribute to it, then this is going to be a loving tribute or retro clone to Merp or Roll and or Roll Master. So we did the first part previously. We're jumping back into the very next part. It's going to pick up where we leave off. We'll do a very, very, very brief recap because it has been nine months since we played last, <laughs> but to get you people up to speed. But in the meantime, we're going to go around, have everybody say hello, and they're going to introduce <coughs> the characters that we're playing. We're using the pregens. We're using the iconics <coughs> to this world, uh, some of them. <coughs> So I will start with Bill. Bill, I know you don't have anything going on that you want to plug. So I will get you just to jump in and introduce Gandril. So yeah, I'm playing uh, Gandril Windblade. I am a elf that lives in a village just a little bit away from the uh, setting that we're currently playing in. My character is actually... Uh, done aging and as an elf in this world i don't believe age is past like 30 ish um he is a longtime friend of a wizard who has gone missing uh named nevin and he is in the area looking for the uh his wizard buddy and helping out the group to uh to find what's been going on in this location uh the end of last setting we were fighting a couple of uh, of guys who we hoped might know something about it, but we ended up killing them, so they probably won't be. Dead men tell no secrets. Uh, that pretty much covers G Gandril, I think. Yeah, Gandril. <laughs> All right. Oak, a.k.a. Uriens, a.k.a. Athelstain. Hey, I'm uh, plugging my stuff, uh, Twitch TV, four slash Uriens, U-R-A-E-N-C-E. Do some RPG stuff, some PC stuff. Uh, I'll be playing Athelstan the Black. He was uh, basically the second born son who thought he was better than his brother, but uh, didn't quite have the uh, diplomacy or uh, temperament to lead. He run in his mouth, got him into trouble, almost got killed. And his brother had to save him, but it cost him exile from the kingdom so he uh, went to a different kingdom became a, uh, a guard and taught himself temperance and then kind of fell in love with a girl that hasn't quite returned it yet and uh yeah well that would be uh what's her name more nine more nine yes more nine who is here in the party oh, aka wes thank you <laughs> <laughs> and that's me at the moment you pine for wes who doesn't those beautiful eyes. Just look at them. Right? Uh, Mike. I am playing Madoc, the cunning, son of Rocknav, the bold, son of Halnar, the sullen, of Clan Frostforge, from the Frostforge Mountains. Madoc has descended uh, into the realms of men to learn their ways and to aid potential allies and crush foes of the clan. Madoc is wise beyond his years, meticulous in manner, and a bit of a hoarder with an always overstuffed but useful backpack. That's Madoc. That's Madoc. Unfortunately, GN is not here tonight, who is playing Tobald, so we'll skip over him. That's why there's a skull on his screen. Uh, but then we have Wes, who is playing more Nine, and we don't see Wes because Wes, unfortunately, doesn't have a camera, but Wes is here. Wes, why don't you go ahead and tell us about more Nine? Mornine is the illegitimate child of a uh, noble uh, from uh, the White Walls, uh, the city of White Walls in the southern realm of these kingdoms. And she's uh, headstrong and has been mainly raised by uh, our good wizard, uh, Nevin the Wise. Um, she's been practicing her apprenticeship, doing things around the city and... Uh, Nevin has gone on trips, and this last trip he hasn't returned or sent word from, so she's gone looking for him and was lucky enough to have Adelstein, this handsome man from another kingdom, <laughs> follow along to help protect her, even though she doesn't need that. She doesn't need any protection. She's fine by herself. She um, and she's run into um, an unbeknownst friend of Nevin's in a small town where they... Uh, 
where they um, met up while she was looking for him. Uh, that's uh, the Elf Ranger, I think. The Elven Ranger. Right. Okay. So that oh, would I, be a Gandril. Oh, Gandril. Gandril. Which blade? Swift blade. Gian, there. You, yeah. Wind what blade. the heck is right, buddy? Where Where are you? We've been waiting for you. We had to start because you were a no show. Now he's he's in the chat. Uh, I don't know what's going on with him. Where are we? <laughs> We're in the game, buddy. He says he's been messaging you. No, he just started messaging me. We're live. <laughs> he messaged me like three minutes ago. I I added you a number of times over in the Zweihander channel, buddy. Watching Green Gables with the wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. Um, here, I'll at you. If only it was labeled Sunday game. <laughs> <laughs> here. Wes, did you help make this character sheet? I, I was just going to uh, talk about that. Why don't you go ahead and talk about that while I while I figure out and get you in order here. I did make this character sheet. Uh, this is um, back last year when we were playing. Um I'm currently working on an updated version of the character sheet. This is actually pretty good. I forgot how detailed this was. Yeah, it, it came out good. The The new one's even an improvement over this. I'm pretty happy about it. Cool. And we're not using the new one, are we? Not yet, but maybe next week or whenever we play again. <laughs> well, I'm hoping next week. Yeah. Uh, I'd just like to go on record as saying I was it, wasn't the last one here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not in chat going, hey, what's going on? What are you guys doing playing without me? Great. Oh, Jen. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what happens here. Our overlay the halfling in here. Might all of a sudden get buggered up. Let's He's see. got I small to... animals with him, I, I sent... think. <laughs> nah, get in here. I sent you the invite. Let's go. I already waited 35 minutes or 30 minutes for you. Just I don't have to be faster than the bear. Just Another faster three minutes and gonna kill something. Yeah, get in here and we'll figure it out. We'll do it live and we'll get this this game going. Um, we change Wes's name to Sheetmaster. Sheetmaster. <laughs> Who here? I'm gonna put you guys on the spot while I wait for GN to pop in. Who here remembers what happened last time? <laughs> Nine months ago. It's okay if you don't. I just I can remember it. some oh. of the nefarious things that happened. So, yeah, so you guys came to the area. You came to the region. The Thane. The Thane, there we go. Do it live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Thane Wolfric, um, his his warden recently went missing. So you guys were brought in, and uh, there was a rumor that there was some uh, strange creatures. Fruitzilla, how's it going, buddy? Thank you so much for the bits. Um, there was rumor that something was going around killing people and killing livestock in the area, if you remember correctly. Sheeps and goats and all that were going missing. And then was the warden himself, Amon, went missing. So Wolfric um, hired some folks, being you guys, to look into it. You were also there because of Tobald. Um, his, I want to say, cousin went missing. His cousin's husband, Archie Archibald. <laughs> went missing and that was the other reason that you guys were there so you were hired to look into the beast of willow lake there was rumors of this beast ravaging the countryside killing livestock killing people um and look into the disappearance of this warden you guys follow the tracks you follow the slaughter you came across a little uh like hunting hut in the woods where there were oh there goes my there goes my overlay where there were three men from the north three nefarious men from the northern region staying there. And you guys can fill in the blanks while I work on my overlay. Oh, I vaguely I'm... remember this now. They were working for somebody who was off in another land that was uh, evil, that was planning on yeah. invading to take over the kingdom. Is that it? Yeah, they were was working the for one of the dark men. One of, yeah. I think it was Jen! Jen, hey! Yeah. I think yeah. this is the first time we played on camera together, man. How are you? Hey, I'm rocking. How you doing? <laughs> cool. Good <laughs> to meet you, finally. We're, we're yep. getting the old band back. This is the group that plays. This, band is, back. this is cool. I remember this group now. Uh, yes, Snow White. Fantastic. That's me. <laughs> um, so I thought the game started at 11 Eastern. So I was sitting there watching this pretty horrible show, waiting. And That's okay, man. I, I want to thank you for making me not the last one to show up. You're welcome. He's That's been the reason I did it. 
<laughs> You've been dethaned. This is where the Thane joke originated. This is where the Thane came from that has kept up for <laughs> nine months. Okay. That's because Tobold walked in and like got the open 100 success of like 3,000 yes. on the history of Oh, yeah, game. on the history. Did it. Okay. Uh, so you guys fought those men from the north. It turned out, yes, they were evil. The tracks and everything. Uh, oh, you guys, before you went to that hut, though, you encountered a clearing with some crows, a murder of crows in it. And the body of, I believe, your cousin Archibald was found there. Was it not, Tobald? That was my brother, well, my cousin-in-law. Your cousin-in-law. Yeah, he was so married to the... So you guys followed the tracks, went to that cabin, the three men in it. You went there, you found out they were nefarious fellows. You killed them. But you also continued on the track to see the yes. rumors about this beast. You went to, uh, around the lake, and you came to a cave. And yes, within the did. cave, you found a, uh, a troll... Morkant was his name, and um, he was a rather friendly he, troll. You, you didn't, you didn't kill him. I think did I he take get him to perch on my yeah, feet? He a sheep or a goat. He, 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 had a, he has a wolf. Oh, Fruitzilla, thank you so much for the gift, uh, the gifted subs. As always, very much appreciated. <laughs> Wheezy, the world ugliest sheep. That's yeah, right. Yes. I said Wheezy. <laughs> Wheezy was killed. You guys used Wheezy as bait with the three. Yes. Uh, the three uh, men from the north. That was the, the best troll. thing that could happen. We use Weezy for bait, troll bait. Yeah, was this uh, nine months ago? Wow. Yeah, it was nine months ago. So Weezy, yes. there was Weezy the the, the sheep. Uh, <laughs> but there was you, something yeah. about the clearing too. There was a blood trail into the clearing or something. Yeah, and that's what you followed to the cabin. Oh, it was also a north. dark shrine, I think, where the body was splayed out. Right, and there was something off about the uh, something was off about the clearing too, wasn't there? Something a little mystical or something? Yeah, I can't it had remember. dead bodies in it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah. Well, half a dead body, a halfling. What was the name of the <laughs> power that those three men were working for that we slew in the cabin? There was a, uh, th there was a, some kind of like king or something was planning on an invasion. The Dark Master himself? Was Is that, did yes. we know him as that? Yes, the Dark Master. The, the the image behind Oak there, the skull, the horns, and it's behind me there. Yeah, there you go. The Dark Master himself. Didn't we, we see a vision or something or or, or hear of uh, a large army coming this way? Yes, they, so there's rumors. Creatures and giants and so of forth. Armies gathering to the north to descend upon this valley. So None there's also sound. dwarves to the north. There's elves to the west. And there's this spirit. There's a talk of like armies of ogres and goblins and beast men gathering and men from the north to the north to come descend on the, the veil. Thank I you. I can't so remember much. also if it was from the Thane we learned or if it was off screen that there was like um, the Thane was looking for mag magical, powerful artifacts yes, to, help protect, to protect himself. Um, or give him more power against this army. Look at you guys, it's all coming together. You know what? Searching for a medallion. You're right. Yeah, it's so funny that we remember more about this game than some of the games that we used to play week to week when he asked us to recap. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Look at this, Fruitzilla. Thank you so much. Did you get us to that 50? Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. He's just gifting subs like crazy. It's awesome. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, so it was found out that the, that the men – thank you, Fruit. That's awesome – the men from the north, I believe, were the killers of Aemon, the um, the former warden. And the troll was taking and stealing livestock. He was hungry. So it yeah. was like a little bit of both is what it turned out to be. He didn't eat Wheezy in front of us. I remember that. He, We just gave him to her. They yeah, may be friends you guys, of, of you guys were kind. You guys were you yeah. guys were friendly with Morkan. I stand by Wheezy being eaten is the best thing that could happen to Wheezy. Probably. That, yeah. I, I think Mork didn't Morkan move off? Didn't he go off over the mountain? I think he spoke of it. Um that was like what you convinced him to do. But there mm -hmm. there are the gathering armies there, so you guys did send him off over that direction towards the dwarves. See what happens. Oh. Okay. Well, so that is our recap. Yeah, I'm surprised how much you guys remembered from nine yeah. months ago. This game made an impression on us. It did. I know, right? All right. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. So you guys are um, by Morkant's lair, and you have to make your way back to... I got a map here I can show you guys. That I was, there, was there anything interesting in the troll lair itself? 
There was nothing interesting itself in the tro Troll's Lair. There was a large wolf in a pit that you guys did not trigger or fall into. That was his pet or his friend. Um, and there's just bones of, like, livestock that he had he had eaten. So he never ate a person that we could tell. As far as you could tell, there was no human bones in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. Sending, we... sending the troll towards the dwarves, it's not a great idea. I agree. I agree, Sean. Um, well, it's not good I mean, for the dwarves. It is what it is. <laughs> so you guys are to the northwest of Willow Lake, the, the small town and the name of the region. Uh, you guys are at more Lair. You have to make your way back to um, the town itself to report that you have come gotten to the bottom of what has happened to the former warden and what was killing hey, and taking but, livestock. So you guys, Matt, did, did we did we find anything on the dead uh, bodies that we slew of these men uh, that would, would be evidence? You're asking me about something from nine months ago. I'm going to say no. Uh, from what I remember, there was um, they were wearing clothes of men from the north and things. One like of that. them had a necklace that had a symbol on it. Did it have a dark master symbol? Uh, maybe it was. So you guys remember or filling in the details? Uh, yeah, because it was some. It was some way we identified them as minions of the dark masters, and I don't. Yeah. I don't remember getting a speech well, from. I, I them think we. I died. think we did. I think we did subdue and question one of them. You yes, did. there was one still alive, but I don't remember yeah. him saying. Was, anything is he time. still alive? Is he a prisoner, or did we kill him? I want to say you killed him. I want to say yeah, you I think fed we him killed to those crows or something like that. This group, what? Yeah, <laughs> us kill? No. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that's so we we had it uh told to us, then. Yeah. 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 All right. So that was at the hunting lodge. You guys crashed the bush when you went um, when you left. You also went through that cairn or cairn, um, that's to the west of Willow Lake, and you saw some things there, some sites there. Is this a different map than last time? No, this map was covered up and I uncovered it as you went. Ah. Oh. I had big black squares over it. I remember the big black map. Right. But we're getting pretty close to uh, the elven forest that I'm from now. Oh, Hell yeah? Urbelin. All right. So you are in Morkant's lair and you need to go back to report to Ulfric that you have gotten to the bottom <laughs> Of what took place in Willow Lake, and you were also promised to become the new wardens of the area, if you remember correctly. Wardens of the North. Wardens yeah. of the North. You need to go report to your Thane. It's all good for you, but I have to break the news to my cousin-in-law. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, that's right. That yeah, Archie, now. you found Archie, and he's he ain't coming home. No, Archie's not <laughs> coming home. Well, he can, but he's not going to be in good <laughs> shape. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you guys want to head back south? You want to go, you know, overland this time and not go through the bush and encounter all kinds of strange, weird things again? It's nothing wrong with strange, weird things. <laughs> can I mean, I, I, I'm fr I'm fresh, so either way is good with me. Um, can you see the map? Oops, no. No. That's why Hander there. The the stream can see it. This is why Hander logos on there, because I wasn't going to show the map. But there's the map. They are there. More can't lair. They need to go back to Willow Lake. They encountered the humans at the hunting lodge, and there's the. Turn. How long of a walk is it back to Willow Lake, and what time? Oh, is it? it'll be about half day, and I'm going to say it's early because you guys spent the night in that, uh, in the hunting lodge. All right, if we can make it back today, no reason to go to the uh, Elven Forest for the night and make my GM ad-lib that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Disregard that Zweihander in the background. There you go. What Zweihander? Well, it's only, yeah, that's only reference. Yeah, that's only referencing a two-handed sword. That's it. Yeah, there you go. What are you talking about? All right, so there's the map for people to see. Uh, I'll click back to us. You right. think maybe seeing us is why they asked to see the map? Yeah, right. They don't want to see us talking. So, uh, you guys want to head wow. on back to Willow Lake? I mean, I kind of have to. That's the whole reason I'm here. Sure. Let's go. So Let's go guys... tell them that we're the thing now. 
you guys well, following more names so. follow down the uh the river leading towards the lake you stick to the water because you know once you hit the lake it's just due south from there so you guys make your way through it's pretty uneventful as you uh crash the woods um you do see signs of wildlife and such um but as you guys oh thank you thanks sean as you guys uh get to the lake you're sitting there you're refilling your water skins you're taking a moment you're resting and you peer across the lake to the north and uh i'm gonna get everybody to go ahead and make me a check make me or see if you remember how to use wes's kick-ass sheet here it's gonna happen make me a perception check everybody it's a race at what difficulty oh <laughs> yeah these maps are great these are all going to be included in the game when they come on the kickstarter look at this look at this wes made this character sheet look at this pop up it tells you if it's a success a partial success it does all the math for me this is beautiful and he's got a new one it's new and improved this guy is a wizard at creating character sheets sheet master it's more like a hammer and chisel <laughs> yeah roll high so for the people watching also this is a it's a percentile or it's a d100 based game system i should go over that as well it's been a while since we played it um d100 um base game you want to roll high to succeed you can actually critically fail and roll below one or you could critically succeed and roll above 100 so it goes right. up so you may see that well we got yeah Gandril, you only got a result of you only got a partial success with a hundred, which is funny. Uh, so everywhere with partial successes, you can you make out shapes on the other side of the lake. You can make out figures. It looks like they're riding on something. They're mounted on something. There's about oh five of them in total. Um, Madoc, you peering across the lake, you clearly see you see a, a group of red caps. Uh, mounted on wolves on the other side of the lake, and they're just kind of sitting there in the shadows. Beautifully watching. rotoscoped. Do they see us? Yeah, rotoscope. You like that? I've, I yeah. had that in there since last game. I've been waiting to use it because it's in vain of what these guys are going for. Uh, they're looking yes. right at the group of you. Okay, they um, don't look friendly. Do we? Do, does Madoc know what these things are? You can't make out what they are, Madoc, unless. Oh wait, Madoc, were you, you were the success. Yes, you know they're red right, caps. You know that they're they're goblins, mounted goblin riders. Okay, they're, from okay, the north. They're goblin riders. Okay, and uh, what what does Madoc know about goblins? <laughs> bad, bad news. <laughs> These guys work can, for typically in league with the Dark Master. Can we outrun them? Uh, they're on the other side of the lake, so like they're not even close to you. You just see them. There were rumors of scouts in the area, and you're assuming that these are the scouts. I'm gonna. I can't quite see them. What are those on the other side of the lake? There. Red caps. They are vicious goblins mounted on wards. The square to They're... the south is you, and the square to the north is them. They appear to be scouts. I'm assuming I can't shoot an arrow that far. No, you cannot shoot an arrow across the lake at them. Well, now, are we talking about, like, um, a mile, or how, how, how far away is the crow flies, are they? The distance between, like, the lake? From yeah, corner across corner. the lake. What are we, are we talking? A mile, a half mile? No, it's like three miles. Okay, so it's, so it'd be like six to um, ten miles for them to close the gap to yeah. us. Then, yeah. Well, it says Matt said Morkan's lair to the town was a half day's travel. If we look at the lake, that's about half of that. So quarter day travel to go straight across. It. Well, I'm just thinking, I'm wondering, because they're on wards, if they could catch us. They see you, to... you see them. They're close to the north. They're they're down near the mountain paths. Um, so you're assuming that these are some of the scouts that you have heard of in this area. Do we have to go uh, in their direction in order to get back to where we're going? No, you're going due south. You're heading right due south of okay. where you are. I, says, I, we, I wave at them. We should, we, we should uh, not tarry here. We should head uh, back to the south. And make haste. Agreed. I also concur. We don't want to deal with these people. No. I make up scene gestures. So of them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means for a halfling. They're going to alert the troops, the chat says. Oh, whatever. Well, yeah, they've already seen us, though. You know, this, this, this 
chapter is called Winds of War. Um, so yeah, maybe it's just inevitable. Speed. <laughs> I'm going to walk with my bow out for the rest of the uh, trip. We're on foot, yes? Yeah, you don't have yeah. mounts. Okay. And she is my sister also. Fawn says kill <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so you guys continue on. And um, it's uneventful. You guys head uh, south, and you do uh, you do encounter. If you remember, there was small art cropping of farms. Um, so we got Wheezy Willow Lake. This is where you found Wheezy. There was also a, remember you, there was a lumber yard. You guys questioned <clears throat> some folks there at the lumber yard because they had seen and heard some things some night the night before. Okay. Exchange As the new thanes, should we be uh, bringing the villagers to the fortified town? Maydoc Maydoc agrees. He says we should. Um, direct the villagers and farmers to fall back to Willow Lake beyond the uh, parapets. We should burn uh, the fields and move what food we can and leave nothing for the horde. I'm, and the we should also possibly charge them a small fee for you know guarding them on the way back to the town proper. <laughs> We're not mercenaries. One wheezy each, please. One we see each. <laughs> How many half- farms are there on the way back? Uh, you've encountered roughly half a dozen. Uh, you know that they're all all around, 360 degrees around. Um, okay, uh, I, um, Madoc says, let us head uh, to the nearest, and they may spread the word. I wonder if there's a, a bell or a tower that can warn the outlying area in the actual town of Willow Lake. Signal fires or something. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll pass. We'll pass by the first farm. We, we we we'll ride right by one, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's so. six farms. We'll tell them as we go, and we'll ring a bell or whatever when we get there. Yeah, we 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 need only tell one. The rest can warn each other. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> I think that's what we're doing here, Matt. Sure. You're just gonna stop in at the first farm and just let them know that uh, of what's going on. Yeah, when we get to the first farm, Madoc will find the uh, whoever the the farmer is. You know, uh, say wasn't the last farm Weezy's house? <laughs> hey, we took your sheep, and now we're here to really. Uh, oh no, he, we we made a deal for that sheep. I remember negotiating for it. We paid for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did. You did. Yeah. So you guys make your way to the first farm, and uh, yeah, there's a old farmer. He's sitting out there, and he's tending to his hogs, and he looks at the group of you. He tips his hat up, and. Uh, Questions what you're doing there. Oh, Weezy was a goat. Farmer. Yeah. There are there are hordes to the north. Orcs yeah. are moving and goblins are moving down. You must fall back to Willow Lake. Uh, what uh, what is it? The the Red Riders? Uh, the yeah, yeah, the Red Riders again? Yes, it well, it is scouting party, but a larger army Red falls cats? behind them. Oh, they're back again, eh? And you say again? Again? Was previously? Oh, uh, just uh, the other night, they uh, broke up a wedding here between the two clans, the uh, the Bear Clan and the Pike Clan. They're uniting after feuding for years, and uh, the the wedding uh, was it was uh, ruined by a bunch of redcaps riding wolves. Now, if you want, you can go check out uh, where the ceremony took place. It's not too far from here. Anybody killed? Yes. Any bodies you... of the red cap, sir? No. And you still want to stay? <laughs> he just kind of shrugs. It's eh. all I've got. Have you children here? You can have less. <laughs> yes. You know how many numbers there were? <laughs> uh, there were f- five. How many, how many did we see earlier? Four's in the picture. Yeah, you saw four. Do you have women, children in your farm? I'm all just me and my wife. We need to spread word to the others. Can you get word to the other farms? It doesn't look like you can move very quickly. Uh, nope. Do you have a wagon? Yep. Uh, yeah. any chance of letting us use it to protect your neighbors? How much coin you got? It always comes down to coin, huh? 
Um, I don't know who you we, are. We are the New Wardens. Says who? Uh, says, says us. us. Who we'll <laughs> says the thing? <laughs> I haven't heard anything. Of course, you're way out here. Then come with us to the lake. You'll be safe and you'll hear the news. Yeah, we are, uh, um, so he has, he does have horses and a wagon? Yeah, he's got a couple horses and a wagon. Okay. Um, Madoc looks at him and says, we, we have to work to save the others. Are you sure you won't come back to town? Oh, why would I leave my livestock here? All right. Well, we will, uh, if you survive, we will return your wagon once the battle is over. And uh, Madoc he- heads over to collect the wagon. Oh, and the, uh, oh, 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 you got to pay for that. We'll we, be back uh, in three weeks to bury you and your wife. Take it up with the Thane if you don't like it. We're procuring it under Ordinance 478. Do you want to try and use, like, charisma or something to try and talk him into it? Yes. Or do we have leave? jurisdiction to uh, just have... uh, procure these items as warden? Charisma, I think you said threat wrong. <laughs> We're five I, I, heavily armed adventurers. Right. <laughs> how about the, no, how about this, friend? I can sing tales and songs of how you helped save the city from a horde. How's that going to make me any money? Uh, people, Are you going to spend any money if you're dead? A hero. <laughs> you can. Uh, you mention money again, you will not have to worry about the red caps, my friend. <laughs> so who rolled and charisma? Made, uh, failed. Made, made, failed horribly. Uh, so Tobald, you tried to charm him. He goes, no, no, no. I can barely hear. Huh? <laughs> Songs and tales. <laughs> Anybody want to try and deceive him? Where is intimidate? <laughs> there is no it's, I think it's for charisma. Yeah, it'd be right. black charisma. Here. Partial success. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, How many times are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Tobol's just rolling everything tonight. Who else? Is somebody else going to roll? Here, I'll roll. <laughs> I was going to roll, but Tobol's going crazy. No, nope, not me. <laughs> nope. Oh. Do we know what's, what's we this farmer's roll? name? His name is uh, Abernathy. <laughs> oh, McDonald. <laughs> you can call him Abe for short. <laughs> Honest Abe. <laughs> Oh man, so, Abe! Uh, sure. Abe, eh? you, you've got to. Surely you want to save your neighbors. Don't you care about them at all? Eh, nope. <laughs> nope. Wow. I'm from that dirty Pike clan. I'm from the Bear clan. Nope. I thought you were getting married and combined after years of. Oh, it was until the Red Caps broke it up. It yeah, was supposed well, to happen, and then they all got murdered. I'm surprised this guy survived. Maybe, <laughs> more, uh, more maybe than, more than, you, lost right, one. Won't you please let us borrow your wagon so we can try and right. save some souls from this valley? All right, I'll tell you what, pretty lady, you can borrow the wagon <laughs> and my horses, but you got to return them tomorrow. Done. Done. <laughs> all of you at the same time. <laughs> Done. And uh, Madoc puts his axe back on his back and walks over to collect things and head off to the next farm. Let's go tell this guy's wife that uh, well, before we leave, like, are you sure you are dead? <laughs> Do we also yeah. want to investigate the the red wedding? Yeah, we could do that. We could see that. the red wedding. Maybe there's a clue, right? Not Maybe. Well, how far is this uh, wedding clearing? What? It can't be any farther than the next. Oh, it's just yeah, it's just up ahead. Yeah. All right. Well, um, why don't you take us there? I'm not going anywhere. You can just go up the road. You can find it. <laughs> you already got my horse. You're a friendly one. Huh? Can I please kill him? <laughs> Thanks, Abe. <laughs> As we're leaving, I'm going to yell, enjoy your last meal. <laughs> I thought you guys are heroes. We're dark heroes. Yes. All right. So my my helping people ends when they won't help themselves. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You head on up the road, and uh, for those of you who are local, you know that the this, this pleasant little spot is right on the border between the Bear Clan and the Pike Clan territories. They're two feuding clans that uh, live in this area. Um, and this is a traditional wedding spot, though, that is used um, by the clans. There's a few barrels of ale still lying around here and there amongst a trampled circle of flowers and other wedding decorations. As you get closer, you can see the figures of five 
pike or five men standing about armed with uh with pikes as you get closer with the uh with your little wagon they hold up their arms oh halt who uh who's passing through the do, we have a name? Do, we, do we call ourselves anything yet well the we're, we're collectively lake. the wardens right you well, are we the wardens the wardens of willow lake we are well, have we been granted that title? Since no, we not yet. Started? You haven't gone back to Willow Lake yet. We're taking some liberties with that, but <laughs> it's okay. We're we're the wardens. You are the wardens of Willow Lake, newly appointed by the Thane. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I haven't heard of any new appointing, appointments of uh, wardens. Amen When's the last, the last time warden. you were back in the town? Yesterday. Ammon was the last warden. He's well, dead. So yes. the, then it it stands to reason that you needed new ones. Five new wardens? There was a yeah. lot of problems. There's a lot of crime around here. We're going to straighten it out. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, we're from the Pike Clan. We're here standing guard after the uh, the attack that took place the other night at the wedding. What can you tell us about the attack? We are here to investigate it on behalf of the Thane. Ah, a couple of red caps rode up on their wolves, and they attacked a man who was relieving himself off in the bush, and then they crashed the party. How many red caps did you kill? Uh, we didn't kill any. They got away. We were oh. prepared. We were there celebrating. So there were only two? Yes, there was two. And you didn't even kill one of them? They were on wolves. We were frightened. We weren't armed or ready. <sighs> and then um, uh, Madoc will look over uh, to the others and just kind of say, pathetic. And look back. <laughs> say, you guys are harsh. What, uh, what, what Couldn't clues do have job they left? For us? <laughs> what clues have they left here that we might investigate? Clothes? No, they're, they're, Where they're they clothes. They didn't clues. robe and right away. Clues. Clues. That man ah, said, get clues. off and take a look. We didn't find anything. Really look? No, yeah, we looked, but we didn't find anything. Send what in are, the tracker. Why are you? What are you guarding, men? Well, in case they come back, we're on watch. What are you guarding? There's nothing here. Your women are alone in their houses. We're on watch in case the damn red caps come back. Go to them. The red caps are coming back. Are you are you all farmers here? There are five farms to the north. Yes. Go to your houses. Collect your things. Fall back to the city. There's an army coming. An army coming? Bring as much food as you can. Bring your livestock. Bring your weapons. If you stay here, you'll be slaughtered. Yeah. An army, huh? Well said, Madoc. You can, uh... Why don't you going to turn out it was just a scouting party. There was no army. Yeah, right? Uh, they go, ah, fine. We don't really want to stand around here anyways. And they start Good. to disperse. And start heading, walking down the road, uh, mumbling and grumbling to themselves. They look at your wagon. They go, hey, isn't that Abe's? It is. Did you kill him? No, we didn't kill him. Okay, good. We're, we're turning it tomorrow. We've taken it to help any elderly or weak that cannot move quickly. We'll be taking them to Willow Lake. I thought I could kill him, but I didn't kill him. The, the most ridiculous thing about this crime scene, gents, we just found four humans standing in a field with a couple of casts of ale, and they were all sober. <laughs> <laughs> that is a true crime. Right? Let us, let us uh, have a look at the... Uh... Uh, the scene itself. Madoc will walk the, the fields uh, where, where the attack occurred and see if you can find anything. Who's our yeah. tracker? Yeah, anybody who wants to take a look, you can make me a hard, which is a minus 30. Uh, a I very hard, sorry. Help action. A hunting roll. I want to, whoever's doing their best hunter, I want to help. Well, he already rolled... Never mind. He's got a critical success. A critical success. <laughs> wow. 
And it begins. I was saying, we can get up to a plus 50 on the help. Oh, you rolled a natural 100. That's why. I was like, why did you only roll 110 and it was a critical success? Because we've had over 100 before, but it wasn't critical successes. So um, it's open-ended, so we should continue rolling, right? Yeah, you can. You get to roll again. This is the beauty of this game. Critical <laughs> success. You can uh, hit the critical success roll again and type in the... Did I do that right, or do I need to do something else? Do I just add the 72 to the 110? Yeah, I mean, you can do it. If you actually hit it in, in chat in the panel, uh, it's actually a button. So oh, yeah? Like where, like where it says critical success critical roll success again? Roll again. Click oh, I got that. it. All right. I like my, my first one better. <laughs> but, but Wes oh, that made added it. to the top of it. Yeah. All right. So you are snooping around and you found tracks that the others did not find. And you can see that there is um, tracks from the two riders leading up to the northwest back to the direction where they came from. That's what the critical success got me. Or that the to the northeast. I'm sorry. Northeast. Yes. You, you found a clear path. Uh, you found their trail. It's unfortunately the opposite direction of where you want to head right now to, to turn in your mission, but you have found, uh, yeah, their tracks that you could follow back to wherever they are or where they might be staying or where they may have come from. What time of day is it? It is late afternoon. Mm, I have their trail if we wish to follow it. I doubt we'll find them oh. before nightfall. Uh, the why would success, we want to follow it? Well, to hunt them down and kill them. them. Yes, yeah, before they can get up. But, uh, kill us. Now I can see in the dark, but what about the rest of you? That's what torches are for. Torches would give us away. The goblins can see in the night. Ah, working with humans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember where the trailhead is. It might prove useful tomorrow if it's not too late. With Very your critical well. success, I'm going to say that, uh, Madoc, you could pick up this trail no problem. Okay. Your critical says you know exactly where it is. It's like clear as day to you, whereas others don't see anything. Okay. Jeff wants us to split up. Yeah, of course yes. he does. <laughs> split the party. <laughs> go investigate those red caps. Yeah, you can yeah. see well in the night, dwarf. You go after them. <laughs> Report back to us. Are all humans such cowards? <laughs> this would be oh, I'm here to protect good to light. know. All humans are tall. I can say that. Are all cowards tall? Uh, that I don't know. I've met a mix. I don't know. A dwarf want, scared to go by himself to a small group of goblins? <laughs> Who's a coward? You seek to provoke me, but that's okay. I am here to make allies with you. <laughs> tall ones, come, let us go to the Thane. Yes, to the Thane. All right, you guys continue on down the road, uh, and you make. Are we going to do something to help with this wagon, or was this this going to slow us down? The wagon? Why? We well, can if we got the wagon, wagon right? Yeah, we can ride it. Getting anybody? Then it's like, why do we have the wagon? Why did we? Some want people the have wagon? short legs. Why, yeah, did, why did you, you want, want the, wagon? the wagon? I don't know. I didn't question your motives. Hey, what? what, what he wanted to that? help the elderly to town. What do you? Yeah, what do you get after short legs exactly? Where are you going? with uh, Look at me and my hairy little feet. The, are there any other farms on the way? Uh, yeah, you pass like another one or two farms along the way. Actually, that, that's not a bad idea. Do you want um, Do you want to try and get the um, elderly into the wagon? Or we could save the ale from the wedding. <laughs> Why not? Actually, <laughs> Madoc, wait, is the, Madoc will inspect the barrels. Is the ale still good? It's oh, yeah, yeah. The ale's fine. Definitely going in the wagon. Oh, we must save the L. <laughs> it 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 would be a sin to leave it here in the sun to rot. Yeah, that's fine. It's only been out here a day or two. Ah, uh, it's still but... it's just getting good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> yeah. The goblins not drink ale. Let us uh, let us see if we can help the frail humans. <laughs> Aren't you surrounded by humans? Oh no, you got a dwarf, a halfling, and then what? Yeah, two half humans. The, no, the, the, the old humans, the frail ones. Let us see if we can help them. Sure. So you offer some help and alcohol, and you pick up, uh, between the two farms, there's one more, uh, there's one group of elderly folk, and 
you eventually convince them to get into the wagon and go to Willow Lake with you for the day. And you guys uh, get to the town and you meet the guards. You have to go all the way around because um, at the back, like from the direction you're coming to the north, there's the big longhouse the Thane lives in up against the Palisades. You have to go all the way around the Palisades to the front and you're greeted by the guards again like last time. And they're shocked. They're surprised to see you. They're surprised to see you return. But they uh, they let you in, and um, two of the guards at the gate you recognize. But there's also another two guards wearing black armor with um, strange markings on them that you don't recognize that are also standing there. Are these our new assistants? You ask the guards. Yeah. Uh, one of them is just the new wardens. Yeah, one of them shuffles forward and he kind of under his breath he mutters, "Oh, these are uh these are Harkins men. Um Wolfric hired a mercenary while you were away and uh these are some of his men. They've um made themselves comfortable and they've kind of taken up position at town guard." Okay, well, they may have a lot to guard because there's some bad stuff on the way. Oh, well. That's good to know, because uh, these men are of, um, he looks behind him, kind of lowers his voice, questionable morality. They're violent men, and uh, we're, we're not really wanting them around here. Well, their services won't be required anymore now that we're back. Right! You are the new wardens, aren't you? Were you successful? Of course. Very much so. We have a bag of heads. <laughs> no, you don't. Do you? <laughs> no. I don't Do think you? so. I, wrong game, I think you're right? confusing this with Cthulhu. <laughs> Bag of severed heads. I well, I generally like to cut off the heads of my foes. But... <laughs> <laughs> my thing. Oh man. We have information for the Thane oh. regarding his enemy. Well, the Thane has been rather sickly the last couple days, and we haven't really seen him ever since Harkon and his men showed up. He's been uh, he's been. He's been shut up and uh, kept away from everyone as he's been ill. I mean, yeah, that sounds uh, peculiar. Sounds Harkon too convenient. Harkon yes. has had uh, run of the town, but uh, shall we go to the longhouse and, and see if we can fetch the Thane to anoint our new wardens? Uh, who's the guard? Uh, he's just one of the, the guards you met when you were here. Uh, um, so before, uh, as, as we start to, um, Madoc will try and call him away from the, uh, Harkins men. Sure, and, you want to um, do it, uh, on the sly? Not necessarily, but just... Oh, hey, it, it, hey uh, come here! Nothing, nothing that involves a, uh, a role, but, um... Show, show the, Bob, come here, I want to talk to you. Yeah, but when, when he's out of earshot of the Harkins men, he'll say, uh, why don't you, uh, rally the captain? Uh, who's the captain of the watch, do we know? Uh, there was no captain. Who's Wolfric, in charge of the watch? Wolfric was in charge of all of the guards and everything. Um, and since you've been gone, he's now hired this guy, this this Harkon. Okay, but I thought uh, was was that was that guy the thing, uh, the um, warden before? So the warden Amon guy. was the warden. He was killed before Amon yeah. was the warden. Wolfric was actually the warden of the area, and then he be- claimed himself Thane. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Um, but yeah, because uh, I'm thinking we're going to have a little power struggle here with Harkin uh, uh, presently. So uh, <laughs> um, Madoc will say, uh, why don't you um, rally the, the loyal guards and have them uh, meet us? I sense there may be a problem. I kind of uh, need to talk well, to we my got sister. Our posts. We, 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 we're, we're taking orders from Harkon now. Um well then, wait just, a few moments, and you won't be. You just how about you just, how about I accompany you to the uh, to the Thane's longhouse, and uh, we'll see if we can if we can raise him to uh, to anoint you the new warden. To know that you were successful. Our kid's not going to let us see the new warden, or let us see the Thane. Yes, he will. Okay, <laughs> Athelstane from the from the wagon. Yes, Shit. he will. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen will ask the guard, too, as we're proceeding towards the Thane's longhouse, if there's been any word or sighting of Nevin, the wizard. He said uh, there was rumor that Nevin had appeared in the last day or two, but uh, his tower's empty and nobody has seen him. 
wasn't his tower like ransacked by, by there was an ink there was an ink spell <laughs> yeah, it, was ink Har- spell. it was Harkin it wasn't us yes, oh yeah no. that's right it was Harkin we're the good guys you guys scaled his tower and spilt ink all over yeah. his map lies yeah. lies and slander fake <laughs> news <laughs> with a critical failure Wrong. All right. Lies and slander. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> yes, the heart. heroes of Willow Lake, B and E experts. I kind of right. need to go talk to Mirabella. We mastered climbing up there, and that's the important part. Sure. Do you want to go stop and speak to your cousin before you uh, head I, to speak? I kind of need to give it a news. All right. Tobold uh, wants to make a quick stop before you go to see the Thane and report it to his cousin. Yeah. yeah. Might be more information there. I doubt it. Mm. It's it's my sister also. The oh, dwarf sister. I thought it was your says, it's your sister. I did too. It's your kin, brother-in-law that died. Kin is always first, Jen. We will talk to your cousin. Okay. <laughs> it's my sister. Um, okay. Yes. Oh, wait, it's, st- a, it's, it's So you stop by your sister's house and she is there and she's excited to see you. Tobold, Tobold. Did you find anything? Well... I found a lot of things, and one of them chunks or something was all good. Old, I look behind me and I think, Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, one of them was, you know, he was a good, he was a good man. Let's just say that and stuff. He wasn't the smartest. He wasn't what I would have picked for you, but he loved you and you loved him. And now he's no more. What are you? What are you saying, Archie's? He's dead. You found you found proof. Yes, he died valiantly, which is surprising. <laughs> the cheap shot at, at Archie Archibald. <laughs> she knew who he was. She uh she, she she breaks down and she but she thanks you for um for putting an end. I'm gonna, to... I'm gonna work on um trying to get you some 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 coin, you know, because I know you're a widow alone now. You are you are the I new warden, aren't you? Isn't the that the deal that was made? Yes, yes. And wardens, as you know, possibly could use um, assistance. So, you know, I'll talk to you and see what skills that you have, and possibly just possibly. he's the leader of the new wardens. Yes, just possibly you can you can work with us. How so? Um, that's at the I, I assess your skills because you know this is a very high ranking position I have here. Then I can determine if you're qualified. If not, begging is always an option. <laughs> you're talking to your sister right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. So we'll we'll figure we'll figure something out for you. Don't worry. Half life society, worry. fascinating. <laughs> There's four of us. We're gonna need somebody to run uh, and prepare meals and whatnot while we're out doing our th- wardenly duties uh she can't cook very well that's probably why archie was up <laughs> why, are, why are we uh why are we offering this to her then <laughs> just nepotism. to try to help out she's my sister nepotism yes it's nepotism <laughs> May- maydock will get out the myers-briggs personality test and hand it to jay <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so you guys continue on she thanks you she thanks you for the closure um but she you're, you're welcome she, she can finally put things to rest now and she knows Archie is not coming back. You're still young. You have plenty of time to find a man. Not many halflings around here. (laughs) Your womb is fresh as spring. (laughs) Again, that would would require another male halfling and there's none around. We got a dwarven dude all over here. (laughs) Sometimes one must do whatever is necessary to carry on the name, Jin. Oh, no. (laughs) <laughs> all right, all right. You already been oh. in the barrels of alcohol, dwarf. <laughs> yeah, you will. You will notice he's been deep into his cups already. But it seems. Oh, just, okay. He now, now he's just getting into his groove. Now I remember this game, and now I remember why you guys remember it so well. <laughs> <laughs> this group. All right, you continue on. You continue on to the Thane's Longhouse. There are more of these um, darkly dressed, garbed, aren't armored um mercenaries about the outside uh of the longhouse and you don't see can, any of his his militiamen anymore 
How many militiamen did he have when we left? Oh, there was quite a few. I'd say there was about 15 to 20 actively on guard in this small little town. Um, okay, so the other guys with us, uh, the, the, from the, uh, the, originally from the guards? Yes, they're um, from the original guards. Madoc said, where are all the militiamen? Uh, I counted a score when we left. He says, well, they're about, but they've been assigned to different duties. We're, they've put more trust into Harkin's men than us. How many? Really? How many uh, Harkin's men are there? Uh, they number, oh, roughly 40. I believe Harkin's is your new thing. Uh, why, why do you say that? Well, we no longer have a militia, and we have 40 armed, uh, heavily armored men inside the camp. Well, we heard rumors of a red cap attack uh, a couple nights ago, just north of here. Uh, let us see how this goes. Not much of a rumor. It's not a rumor. <laughs> we can confirm it. Huh? You saw these red caps? We did. Without Apparently we saved the beer. How many? Four or five. Did you slay them? The attack was two. We were not there for that. And we saw four across the lake. No, but we evacuated all the farmers to tell them to come here, and we came oh, with them just quickly. That's why you have all these old people with you. <laughs> Indeed, we we need to gather the farms to the south as well. <sighs> and to the east. Very well. Perhaps my men could be put to use uh, to go and rally the farmers and bring them here. Perhaps. Here, Prefer. take this uh, cart. Abe's like, hey, <laughs> you said you'd return this tomorrow. Not tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so you guys get to the longhouse, and yeah, there's a bunch of the guards standing out there, and uh, the militiaman goes to the door, and he uh, he announces that he needs to speak with the with the thane because the uh, the wardens have arrived victorious from their their mission. And uh, right. one, of, one of the mercenaries goes inside and the door closes behind him. And well, Hang on. Um, when, the, when, he, when he opens the door, <laughs> yep. uh, Madoc's just going to push in behind him. Like he's he going to hop off the cart and push in? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's oh. off the cart. I think um, uh, Athelstane, you push, we'll all uh, uh, back you in. Uh, he, uh, he, he, is, he, he, uh, he has a strong opinion of what's happening next, so he's going to call their bluff if he can. Oh, you guys, I love it. Um, <laughs> and he, you know, he's walking with his battle axe in one hand because of what course else he is. Bat- yeah. I think Mornine would agree that we need to meet these people in a, in a smaller setting where we can have, have some uh, tactical advantage with doorways and whatnot. Because it, does it, like- it doesn't feel right. It does look like Okaz Antlers. This is how you die in part one of a three-part adventure. Yes. Part two. Yeah, it's okay. all like, yeah, the antlers are cool. All right. Um, <laughs> so you want to rush in there and push your way in, huh? Well, I'm not being aggressive. We're just, you know, being... Ca- oh, we're, ca- we're, <laughs> we're just now. <laughs> that is the <laughs> definition of aggressive. Direct. We're just... We're not waiting outside for an audience. We're going inside to the waiting area. Just following him in. on, on the on table, pull out my sword and charm them. <laughs> Charm them. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Charm them with a soul. Classic Charm one. one. Oh, I'm not being aggressive or anything. When I'm pushing my way past them into the doorway. <laughs> but but genially. <laughs> uh yeah, sure. Make me make me a brawn roll. All right. That I can do. Oh, so you get there. And uh, right away, one of the um, oh, the mercenaries okay. steps in front of you and goes, where are you going? To see the Thane. We're going inside. We will fetch the Thane. He is very sick. Exactly. We, so we, we, are, his, we are his wardens. We were not told of any wardens. Well, how long have you been here? A few days. Well, how the hell would you know who the wardens are then? Just wait here. We'll get Harkon and we'll get this sorted out. We need to see the thing to make sure there's no foul play. Foul play? We're hired mercenaries. What are you 
Yes, and we we are the Thane's guards. Athelstane, we seem to be having a problem with this door jam. Might you oblige it? Yes, we do. And I uh, I heft uh, what the my sword's or my axe's name again. Find that. Becky. Undermarth. <laughs> my great axe. <laughs> Like step aside, or I'll take you down, or the door, either one. Are you threatening them? Yes, I am. Are you intimidating? I, I back up. Where is it? What do you want, charisma? Or what? yeah, it's charisma. Uh, I'll give you a. Uh, who's all backing him up here? I oh, think... um, Madoc is right there, and he's got a an axe cool. twice the size I'm, of himself. I'm right behind him with my bow. You can do a. You can do a plus forty on that. With help, it's on the top of the sheet. Again, give him, give him a negative ten. Hill, that plus away. Success with a one fifty. Whoa! <laughs> That's not even a critical success. It's just success. They go, oh, we don't want any trouble. Listen, well, good. We're, we're not we aware. Do we? We're not aware of current affairs here. We just we just came in here. We were hired a couple of days ago. Just you can go in the waiting room. You can go in the waiting area. The, and uh, as he's talking, I keep advancing on him. Sure, right. So you and Madox and lockstep behind him. Sure, you, you heard him to the uh, Thane's chamber. You guys, we're just we're just pushing through. <laughs> you guys enter, and you remember that there's a staging area. Remember with all those paintings and everything, and that's where you rolled those like lore rolls, and you got all kinds of history and background in the area. So you're in that staging waiting <laughs> lobby area right now. That you're in last time. How many uh, people, how many of their men are in here? Uh, there are two of his men, and there are four more militiamen in here. It, to be clear, we're not stopping at all in the staging area, right? We're just continuing to walk right through and saying, yeah, yeah, the staging area. We're taking the long way. Right. <laughs> and, Walking yeah. slowly in there behind them. And uh, Madoc will look to the uh, um, the, the militiamen that are there. Um, do they, some of them recognize us from when we were here before? Uh, they do, yes. They do. Do we, do we recognize any of them specifically as being more of leaders than the others? No, they don't really stand out. So you guys make your way uh, through the passageway? You're just going to keep pushing your way through? We are. All right. Well, you guys make as, your way as far as we can. Yeah, apparently. I am stealthily following behind them. Late morning. Do you have a skill with uh, <laughs> herbs and stuff? Don't you? No, not my character. One trying Ooh. to get high, one's drunk. So <laughs> you guys are walking through the main area, and this is actually known as the Shrine of the Wardens. Our shrine. Oh uh, yes, our shrine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, as you guys walk through, you kind of you catch a glimpse of some of the paintings and the markings, and um, on the main shrine itself, you you guys uh, make me a perception roll, standard perception roll, everybody. Oh, I had very hard on when I tried to do that push. Well, turn that off. I just... Oh, did you? <laughs> well... Yeah. Partial success. Oh wow! Who succeeded, Madoc? I'm enthralled I think by the only one. Madoc, I'm scratching my eye as I walk by, and I hit my arm on the wall and poke myself in the eye. An inscription <laughs> on the shrine, and it's in, written in Manish, Elvish, and Dwarvish. Oh, and you're a halfling. We'll say, hey, uh, you. I'm a dwarf. Me. Oh, Madoc. Oh, Madoc's my dwarf. Sorry, I thought this was Tobald. It says, <clears throat> "I swear to keep watch over the Whispering Meadow." Over the tower and over the gate, over the living and the dead, until the queen returns, until our watch ends. Inscribed. That's always been there? Yes, but it stands out to you now. You didn't remember seeing it previously. Okay. Do you, uh, do you just kind of read that to yourself? Do you tell the others? Well, as, as, I'm, uh, as I'm walking by, uh, I, I'll hold my axe high. Mm -hmm. And I will, I will say in, in, uh, the common tongue, I, I will, uh, can you post it in chat for me? Yeah. Madoc says, uh, 
I swear to keep my watch over the whispering meadow, over the tower, and over the gate, over the living and over the dead, until the queen returns, until our watch ends. And uh, and then it'll continue. And he's doing that specifically to engender uh, loyalty and rally the uh, militia that's there. As you read it, you get this like sensation of warmth and oh, and uh, and just like Severe. strength renewed over you. Uh, you gain one drive point, and if you remember drive points, you could cash those in to get re rolls and stuff. You gain a, a, a drive point. Okay. And as you read it also, you hear a warm, powerful voice in your head. You swear the others came this well, but you're the only one who hears it. It says, steal yourself, Brain Warden. Your greatest trial lies ahead. Find your light at the elf friend rest. Do I know what that is? No. <laughs> um, we have an elf in the party, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, he'll look over. Uh, which one's the elf? Dan. It's all the one with pointed Dan. ears. Jin. Uh, uh, no, he's, uh, he's a halfling. He's I think the halfling. I was going to say what? Gandrel is our it's Gandrel. 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 Okay, he'll look over to Gandrel and say, yep, "Gandrel, it's me." What? What? What is the elf's rest? The bed where they sleep. <laughs> no, I, did you not hear the voice? Do I have what? any idea, Matt? Uh, no. I just told him it's where they sleep. We find Ste- like where I sleep. Steal yourselves, and um, he'll uh, press on toward the. Uh, I love the way the horns are lining up on Oak. Uh, he'll uh, he'll he'll press on with um, the big guy in front of him t- uh, toward the Thane's chambers. And he, uh, he'll he'll um, as he's walking, he'll say, "All of you, repeat the oath." What? The oath, man. Uh, you all heard him say it, so. He pointed out on the... Yeah, he points his axe at it. I'll, re- I'll repeat the oath. I just give him a thumbs up. Got it! Okay. Uh, you guys continue on, and um, you make your way through, and eventually you get to, um, you get to the Great Hall. And in the Great Hall, sitting the... Uh, the Thane's chair is sitting empty, but standing there next to the chair is a big man. He's got no hel- his helmet's removed. He's got a big beard, long, scraggly hair. He's got a scar over his left eye, and he steps forward. He goes, "I am Harkon. What is the meaning of this?" We're here to see the Thane, not you. Step aside. We the are the Thane Thane's wardens. Ill. Where is the Thane? The Thane is ill. He's we hired us de- to watch. While he's- we will determine that. We are his men. It is the Thane's uh, chamber nearby, or where would he be kept normally? Um, it is, it is in the next room. Okay. So he calls guards, guards, and he calls his guards, and a bunch of them file into the room. About a dozen of them file in. He says, "You will not be pressing on to the Thane." I so you, so so you are taking control of the town then. I will speak to the Thane. The Thane has granted me control in his sickness. All right. Um, so do our guards come in too? Uh, you've got a, yeah, you've got like five of the local militia with you. All right. He's standing um, in front of a door? He's standing uh, next to the throne near the door. He says, I, I will speak to the Thane and see if he is well enough to see you. What are your names? Uh, um, we're... Uh... Warden Toval, Toval here. <laughs> May, May Doc will look at the others and say he's uh, he's taking control. Do it's we leave this? Cool. Do we leave this place, or or do we kill him? No, I I I, I, I start. I just walk. Start walking forward. I sneak. I try to sneak past him. Yeah, just sneak. Well, there's like guards everywhere. <laughs> how, well, how does that happen? We, but well, we did. Yeah. We did ask uh, Matt how many guards there were, and there were two before. There's a so dozen that ne- filed in. But where'd they come from? Because in the room behind us, there were only two. There are, there are barracks next to the Thane's. Um, oh, okay. Um, so I, I mean, if if it's if what if the answer is it's overwhelming force and they're within melee distance already, then it's over. We can't uh, we can't press it then. Uh, so we'll stop. Okay. I'm gonna call his bluff. <laughs> To- Tobold, how are you trying to uh, be stealthy well, in this situation? He's You're hiding a great, behind the you're throne. You're in the great hall. 
and uh, all of a sudden these guards file out from nearby. From the are barrack. they between us and this this Harkin? They are, yeah. Okay, well, all right, then it's it's over. Nobody pays attention to the half. <laughs> hmm. He he says all these I big will, folk. I will see if the thane is available to speak with you. And he turns and he goes into the door. Oh, here. before you go, take the lady with you. She is well versed in the hours of healing. And I turn around and give her a wink. <laughs> okay. You want to try and convince him? That's what I said. So Who, me? No, Athelstein. <laughs> try and char- chariz- charisma him? He says, mm. The thing is ill. He need, could need I will see if he's able to get out of bed. And if he is, I'll bring him out here and she can tend to him. So he turns and he goes into the room behind him. The door closes. After a few moments, the, the door opens and uh, the Thane is hanging off this guy's shoulder. And he's hobbling in and Harkon puts him down on the on the throne. And the Thane looks across the room and he goes, you've... You've returned. <coughs> Were you successful in finding the cause of the uh, disappearances? <coughs> yes, it was twofold. One was a troll who's been driven from his homeland. The other were bandits. Bandits? From well, where? He, the dog master. And I say it like that and I wave my hands around. <laughs> and the north. The Dark Master and a troll? The troll is actually friendly. I hope you slayed the troll, friendly or not. Well, if he eats that bony sheep, he's going to choke. Dwarves will deal with the troll. Oh, the sheep goat that we left with him. (laughs) I suppose I must make good on my offer. You are now my new wardens. Of the Willow Lake region. And I just turn and look at the at Harkin and just this like see dumbass kind of look <laughs> on my face. Now there's um, Yes, go on. Thane, there there is an army <laughs> gathering to the north. The Dark Master rides south. Oh we have my. we have gathered the farmers and brought them within the walls. Very the good. scouts, the, the red cap scouts, are already at our uh, border's edge. Oh, war is war is coming. We've, we've heard rumor of the red caps, and that's why I've hired Harkon and his men <laughs> to watch, help watch Willow Lake and the region. If there's truly an army, there is not enough men here. We must gather more. Yes, we're that's good at our job. What, uh, what ails you, Thane? I have grown ill in the last few days. I, am not, I do not know what has <coughs> come over me. It's the consumption. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Terry. I've seen it before. <laughs> May I examine you? Uh, you are not a man of, of medicine. <laughs> no. I like how you have to think of the word Medi- m- medicine. You're not a man of medicine. Uh, but he points to Mornine and says, uh, "You, you, you can, you can look me over." <laughs> I don't know what I'll be able to find out. That, that's your partial success. Harkon is breathing down your neck the whole time. Uh, he doesn't trust. The Mornine you. so will you're, approach you're, you. You're, you're motioned over to the thing. He's sitting there, pale in his chair. Critical failure, roll again. Wow. You poke his eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Partial success. Dead. It went up, no? No, that adds negatively, doesn't it? Yeah, it would have added negatively. No. Really? You're a negative 102? No, I kill 124. Him. I kill him? I was just trying to assist, so. Oh, you rolled. No, Madoc, you didn't go over there. This is. <laughs> okay. More night is right. allowed over there. Okay, never mind. More night is right. allowed over there. You were not allowed over. Uh, beckoned over. Mayoc. Thank God, this, I would have killed him. This is this is more nine's per, uh, partial success that we're giving her, or the the the. Partial, stains partial success. Yes, to allow uh, more nine to look him over. So if more nine wants to roll healing rather than Madoc, 
just pushing his way forward, sticks his axe in him. <laughs> He's yeah, operating. The dagger. Here's the problem. <laughs> you have an axe in you. That seems to be the issue. Yeah, Morning didn't roll as well either. Sure. Yeah, but you, you weren't a critical crit failure. <laughs> <laughs> you look the thing over, you kind of look at his pupils and kind of feel for his temperature and things like that, and he doesn't appear to be too sick. I would also like to subtly roll an arcana roll on him as well to see if there's some magical... Sure. Dis well, while he's checking out the Thane, um, Madoc is going to carefully examine the rest of the room and see if he notices anything. Uh, yeah, there are guards everywhere, but you notice from... Um, so. On the left-hand side is the door to the barracks. On the right-hand side, the opposite side of the room, there's another door, and it looks like it opens up into a kitchen. You can see these two elderly lady kind of watching through the kitchen door, and they have great interest uh, in what's going on. You can see them talking to one another. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, I, instead of rolling, mm -hmm. I would actually, can I cast a spell currently? Sure, what do you want to cast? And what does that uh, look like? I want to cast detection. It's a detections. And it allows me to detect magic in the area. So uh, 15 meter radius. Your arms and... Well, no, it's going to be more subtle than that. <laughs> like that picture there, you're like, and your hair's like. Yeah, exactly, right? I think it's a little bit more subtle than that. I think you should act it out. I think. <laughs> Interpretive <laughs> dance. Yes, right? on camera. If I only had a camera. Dang it. Um, I don't remember. The spell modifiers. I'm getting to that page in the book. I'm like, if you don't remember, then I definitely don't remember. They I, they simplified a little bit since the last time I looked. They have. Uh, do, 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 do. Page forty four. It looks like. So I'm gonna roll this with my school of magic. Blah blah blah. Modifiers of. It's not really an improv improvisation. Okay. It's just a straight up roll, it looks like. I can't remember how much I have plugged in on the sheet. We'll see what happens. See Wes Wes's magic at work. Yes. That's a really low roll. <laughs> so I'm going to say it fizzles. Isn't there a table we need to refer to based off your roll? Oh, it's always well, a table. A modified roll of 25 or less is a critical spell. Yeah, failure. it's not a failure. But it is a failure. <laughs> but it's a failure. Uh, so it... Uh, more means a spell was successfully cast and it affects apply. If the spell requires a save roll, yeah. then you look at a column. So that should have been a success. Yeah, it is a success, um, but one of the other ones are applied to it, right? So it can be the duration is reduced, the area of effect is reduced, or the spell has no effect, but the caster retrains the magic points, depending upon how Matt feels, I think. Um, oh, so I get to choose that. I, I would imagine. I don't uh, Maybe. I'm what are my options way. again? Let me put up what the spell. It's under detections. And what's it called? Detect magic? Um, yes, yeah, detect magic first weave. Uh, for the duration, the caster is aware of the presence of magical items or active spells and the aura of effect, which is 15 meter, meter radius. No save duration is as long as I concentrate on it. Um, you detect no magic. Okay. <clears throat> Emanating but I don't know. But I don't know the reason why. So. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot there was tables with the tables on everything. Yeah. Rollmaster! Yep. Yes. And if I had rolled, uh, it's like uh, Zweihander where it's crits on uh, doubles, so 66 or whatever, 44. That's when you roll on the magical resonance table and maybe the Dark Master feels your magical aura. <laughs> 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 That's what I like to hear. Okay. So yeah, you don't detect anything, and you look him over, and it doesn't seem 
all that right. sick. He goes, oh, what did you, what, what do you see, Mornine? What did you learn? Asks the Thane. I'm going to make up something about how it's uh, some rot from a, a root vegetable in the area that sometimes takes effect on people. What's the best course of action? Rest? As far as I can tell. He maybe we could, well. uh, maybe we could uh, converse with, uh, there was a alchemist or an herbalist in, in the village. I oh yeah, that lady. Lady something, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. We can converse with her. The tattoos. Yes. I'll I'll tell tell the thing that I am headed to see Lady blah 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 uh, at our earliest convenience to see what very, she can do for him. Very well. He also calls over one of his um his the people in his court, and he uh, signs a proclamation um, that you are the wardens of the area, and he says, "Make sure this gets posted in the center of town, so all know that we have new wardens." Okay. And he uh, hobbles back to his room. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you are left there with um, Harkon and his men. Perhaps you and your men need to find extra recruits. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I've heard rumor of these... Uh, Pike clan and Bear clan refuting or about to come together. Perhaps you could reunite those. You can unite those clans and they could uh, fight along with us. As We're wardens, do we have the power now to conscript? That's a good question. I'm going to say yes. Because wouldn't it be better for us to do that rather than this guy who we really yes, don't? Yes, he agrees. He says, why don't you, yes, why don't you leave Willow Lake and go <laughs> Unite the clans. <laughs> Good idea. So th there is no captain of our militia at this point, right? Nope. Okay, Mid Har Midoc. Harkon's in charge. All right. Um, so wait, who was the uh, one that we talked to coming in that was friendly? Uh, it was just like one of the random guards. He's now captain of the guard. Well, yeah. Well, Midoc, <laughs> well, that's exactly what we, what we were. I was thinking, but I wanted to ask him uh, who he thought would make uh, among the militia would make the best captain or if he would like the position. Um, he goes, I'm I, Harkon has been granted this position in the Thane's Ill, illness. Mm. Well, based on what you said, uh, he may not be, uh, the, perhaps it would be good to have it. Um, uh, someone in charge of the militia as well, especially someone local. Right. Well, I don't know if they're going to, uh, if they'll acknowledge that. They have to. It's our all, decree. All, only, this only applies to the militia. We just need someone in charge of the local militia that we know is loyal to the thing. Are you following? Uh, yes, I think so. So that can be you, or if you feel there's another better suited, uh, bring them to us and, uh, uh, we will discuss what needs done. All right. Yes, I, I shall gather them. I have to be here. Now, um, is it, this Harkin fellow is here? Yeah, Harkin's there. He's in the th okay. throne room with you. All right. Uh, um, uh, Medak will uh, approach him and uh, say, uh, please uh, forgive me uh, for my zeal. Uh, you can see how coming in this looked rather awkward. We have just had reports that the Dark Master seeks to take over this town. And coming back and finding the Thane unavailable in a foreign force embedded in the fort, you could see how that could be upsetting to us. Yeah, whatever. Be gone. Wardens, go conscript your troops. Don't try to grovel to me now. He's oh. supposed to talk to us like that? Do not mistake my diplomacy for groveling. <laughs> and he'll square his shoulders off a little bit. You need to organize a patrol and begin to scout the area. Do you have horses? We have horses. 
Are you running any patrols now or Outriders? No, we're guarding Willow Lake with the announcement of Red Caps being near. Well, you have a new assignment. Guard Tactic. captain here can take care of the We don't town. take orders from you. The Thane has left me in charge while he's sick. Now, would we know for hierarchy if we're wardens, do we override that? No, you don't. You don't override the, the word of the Thane. Does he know that? Well, no, but the th yeah. well, does the Thane want <laughs> does the Thane want this guy giving us orders, or are we? Yeah, like oh yeah, the Thane has left this guy in charge while he's sick. We can can we forge the decree or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go you get the try. apothecary. See if she can find I think something. I, I, out. I probably can. Let's see the skills I have. Right. Yes. Let's Arcan, go find. Let's Arcan go find Arcan the says, lawyers. Will that, will that be all wardens? For now, we'll be back with the apothecary to check on the, the thing. Very good. And he, uh, he tells his men to at ease, and they, a bunch of them go back to the barracks. <clears throat> and as you're leaving the uh, the Great Hall, those two old women that are poking out uh, near the kitchen door, they're like, psst, psst, wardens, 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 moment of oh, your time. Goodness. More work. Wardens. Maybe. Yes, Mr. More, more work. Yes, women. What do you want? Women? <laughs> Are oh. they women? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just... I think it's only one. There's two old women, elderly women. Oh, I thought it was one. <laughs> yes. well, what, 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 what do you call them? Princesses? Ma'am. Ma'ams. Ma'ams? Ma'ams. Mistress. Mistress. <laughs> they say... Hey, can you come into the kitchen? Can we have a moment of your time? Mm, of course. What do you do? You have any stew? I I'm uh, famished. We haven't eaten in days. There's there's yes. food. sandwiches oh, would be delicious. Kitchen we, would be an excellent idea. Our, um, Beth's meat pies are famous in Willow Lake. <gasps> have some meat, meat pies. pies, please. Madoc will make a aggressive move into the kitchen and start eating. I'm sure, going right back. Go there Two, the two elderly women are the only ones in there, and they greet you. And there's a whole bunch of meat pies sitting out, and you guys just dive in, I take it? Yes. Hey, doctors. So the one old woman goes, oh, oh, oh take it easy. While they're famous in Willow Lake, they've become a bit of a rarity lately, feeding Wolfric and all of these, these men that he's hired. What do you know, Wolfric? The other one chimes in, and she goes, well, we both worked for the... The pre We've been here for a long time. We worked under the previous Thane, Adric II. We took care of the house after his death uh, until Wolfric decided to take on the job. We've been around here a long time, and things things are very strange. Yes, we see that. What's yeah, wrong with the Thane? I don't know. He spends a lot of time in his studying in his chamber, but we've also caught him in the evenings going down to the secret chamber underneath the lodge. Oh. <laughs> Tell us more about the secret chamber. Well, in days oh. of old, it was used as an area to swear in new wardens. But he's cleared it of most of these remnants, and it's all up, up atop here now. And no one really knows what, he's going, what is going on in there. For, I swear I could hear, I could hear the sounds of, of someone else down there. Does Harkin accompany him? No, he goes alone. How do we get there? There's a trap door. A hidden door. That you can go through. Where is the trap door? Hmm. It is <laughs> in his chamber. Oh, it's in his chamber behind 15 yes. guards. When we go in there and we feed him and bring him his food, that's when we notice at times the trap door is open and up and that he's down there. We Speaking see light and we hear voices. Has anything changed in his eating habits, sir? Have they had you feeding no, him? No, he's still eating the same. Are there guards within his room posted? They're always guarded on the outside. At least two of his um, of those mercenaries are always out there. How many windows are there on the outside of his room? There is one window leading to the outside of his room. Can you see that the latch is thrown the next time you feed the Thane? 
Hmm, what do you have in mind, Warden? I have perhaps a friend, a rather small friend, who could slip in quietly and investigate for us. I puff out my chest. <laughs> Warden over here. This is the uh, Tobble, the Warden of Shadows. Warden number one. <laughs> He says, uh, that, the one says, that couldn't be arranged. I'll tell you what. Pat, we deliver his dinner. It, Maydoc patting him on the head. And if he is not <laughs> there, we will light a candlestick and put it in the window sill. And throw the latch of the window. And throw the latch of the window. Very good. We will wait. What time is dinner served? Uh, dinner is served. Uh, we're serving it late. He's having it at 7 p.m. We, we they have will... PM and AM in this world, huh? Yes. <laughs> we, we, we will be ready. And uh, I will need a few more of these pies for my investigation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they they uh, they give you a couple more pies and then they show you out of the uh, the longhouse. It's uh it's early evening now. It's probably about five thirty, six o'clock at this point. What do you want to do? I think we should check with the apothecary to see if she may know something. Or at least a remedy. Right. It was Eileen, the herb wife. That's right. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Yes. The, the, oh, H, yeah. is not, the H is not silent in this world. Herb wife. Yes. <clears throat> herb. Herb wife. So yeah, you go <laughs> seek Eileen. She, if you guys remember her description better than I did, I found it here. Eileen is a fierce yeah, looking young tattooed. woman with short blonde hairs of deep green and deep green eyes. Her arms are covered by intricate coiling tattoos, which she makes no effort to hide. So she uh she she's shocked to see the group of you. She welcomes you. Oh, were you successful? You now the wardens. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to describe to her what what I saw when I in, investigated, examined the pain, hmm. and see if she has any ideas. She kind of thinks about it for a moment. She goes, uh, it could be nothing more than a common cold from the sounds of it. This seems to have happened the day he, the uh, Harkin and his men came, though. Could be coincidence, but we yeah. suspect possible foul play. <clears throat> doesn't sound like a lot of... He has many symptoms. I still have the feeling that it's something unnatural and magical. Chaos. I also do. Thanks for the bits, Thon, Fawn, and uh, Adam. Sergeant Baker. <laughs> she goes, yes, uh, I can I can request an audience with him uh, to see if I can look him over, but I've not been told that he's ill. No, you I've can heard. come with us. We can grant you the audience. <laughs> Just write sure checks we, we may or may not be able to cash. We have no idea what our what our roles is. We just making it up, right? Yeah, yeah. we are the I'll, wardens of Willow Lake. Tell her, yes. give us what we want. I'll also ask her if uh, she has seen or heard of Nevin being back in town. Oh, she says there's a rumor that Nevin appeared a few nights ago, but nobody's seen him. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. And also, can we make a song and tales rolls on the uh, on the chalices saying that uh, our dwarf was preping earlier? Sure. I kept the lot to the whispering. Sure. Tobold, isn't that what you're made for? Songs and tales. I'm made for fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun I'm fun size. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I got a 60 total in Songs and Tales. Oh, oh look at Tobol that. got a critical failure. Wow. So why don't you so roll that? again? So he yeah. just makes up a bunch of shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, more nine. <laughs> well, I mean, she's, all, she's an apprentice. She should know these things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you pass your Songs and Tales. Whereas Tobolt critically fails. Yeah. It's just one of I, think, I, I imagine it's one of those things where it's kept ringing in my head this whole time, and it's mm -hmm. finally dawning on me a little bit of information. Yeah, I'm going to tell you you're wrong and tell you exactly what it is. 
<laughs> yeah, you're, you're um, it's definitely like okay, you're surprised that if Nevin had appeared, that he's not shown his face. Uh, you know that Nevin is seen as just kind of a crazy old man in this town. That people don't know that he's this wizard. So it's you find it strange that yeah, he's been mentioned that he was seen here a few days ago, but that he is um, nobody's really seen. He's been, rumor of his presence, but nobody has seen him. Hmm. He's he's been gone a while, right? He was gone. He disappeared with the previous warden when he went looking for the previous warden. Because they were friends, quote unquote. Oh yeah, yeah. He was friends with Ammon. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Yes. All right. Let's go a little bit longer here. I know we said I was going to end after two hours, but we started late, so we'll go a little bit longer. I'm sure you'll get us to that perfect stepping off point. <laughs> so, um, you guys go check the window. The uh, there is a there's a candlelight in the window. Tobald. All right. That means that it's stealth your way in there. Well, after my last roll, one if by sea, two if by land. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Partial success. All right. You so you. With a little assistance, you make through a scurry your way up the uh, to the windowsill and you open the latch quietly. I, I don't scurry. I just want to clear scurry. it. Scurry. You open the <laughs> latch is open for you, so you open the window, but as you open the window it creaks. <laughs> as it opens and you make your way Thank inside you. the room. For that demonstration of what a creak sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you stand there momentarily like shit and you wait and you watch the door to see if the guards come through, but uh, they don't. Inside yes. the chamber, there is no one in here. You see that a rug has been moved aside in the middle of the floor, and the trap door is open. Uh, in his quarters, uh, there is a large bed, uh, two large chests, a stand that has old ceremonial suit of armor hanging on it, and uh, hanging on the wall in, in front of his bed is uh, an old ancient looking spear and a round shield painted with the hound's insignia on it, which you know is his personal insignia. Okay. Um, none of these seem like a like, like an, uh, an, an opening. Now his insignia, this just a round shield with his insignia on it? Yes. Is there a desk in this room? Uh, no, there is not. Okay. It's a large locked chest. A bed. All right. I'm heading towards the chest. <laughs> of course you are. I was hoping uh, to steal this thing here so we can pour some documents. You can documents. try and pick the lock. It's going to be a heroic task. Ooh. Watch me. Watch. Get- watch. Awesome. Happen, We're gonna right be the, here. This is going to be the shortest uh, stint of being uh, um, wardens ever. I actually have a tool. I remember this <laughs> character having tools. He does have a tool. I remember that. Or that, and I think it gave 10%. Let me see. Lockpick. I do <clears throat> not know what the percentage is. For tools, it just says if a character does not have the necessary tools, they get a minus 10 to a minus 30. <laughs> he's got the tools it's still a it's still a minus 50 it's a heroic task all right oh all right so here we go <sighs> do it tobald i am <laughs> i am yes yeah, lock picks are required to pick locks this oh here it is lock and trap right <laughs> Yep, locks and traps. That's the it's one. It's so horrible, my roll. Here we go. Failure. Wait, don't we have points, though, for rerolls? So you do have drive points. It's and almost the end. One. So you can spend a drive point tapping drive. When a character is involved in a situation in which his passions are challenged, he can tap on a drive point. Character gains a plus five bonus to all of his skill, spell, and attack rolls for each point of his drive score. For the duration of the whole scene, in which his passion has evolved, does this part does this tie into your passion? Uh, my passion is for me to become sheriff, but let me see. Well, you're a warden. You're spending <laughs> I'm, drive I'm points. Close. A character can spend one drive point 
uh, for the following. Reroll a, uh, a failed save with a special 10% bonus. Reroll a suffered critical strike, lowering its severity by one. Character can spend five drive points at one time to consider the result of an open end roll as a natural 100. Uh, treat a critical strike as slaying. Ooh. Ignore all pen penalties to actions foreseen or double the area of effect targets or range, duration, or base damage of a spell. I'm trying to figure out what my passion's on. <clears throat> it's on the top of the character sheet underneath. The... I guess you guys all have three drive from last time. What, it's get... under... what is it under? Uh, it's up at the top. Um, oh, you know, it's probably covered up by the uh, role modifiers. If you is that the same as motivation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So motivation, nature, and allegiance make up your passion. Ah, cool. I have, I think, better on a full stomach. I did have sandwiches. You did have meat pie. All right. So with this, but but that's not going to help me. I have no, it's not going to help you. You failed the roll. Yeah, I failed that roll. So you put the pick in there and you're moving around and you're just, you're unable to crack this lock. It is just way too strong. All right. Um, you said there's a bookshelf, right? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's, a was gonna, there's a suit of armor. I thought he armor. was going to go down and see the dude down below. Yeah. Do you want to go down there and do you want your friends to come with you or you just want to head down? Yes, there? I do. But I, I want to look at this place a little bit first. Uh -huh. sure. All right. I'm going to go over to the suit of armor. Sure, it's human-sized. It's an old ceremonial suit of armor. It's uh, male. Male armor. It doesn't look out of, out of place. M-A-I-L, no. not M-A-L-E. Not female armor. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, it's not halfling-sized. You can put it on, it's just going to hang off you and drag. Oh, no, I don't want to put it on. I just was wondering. Okay, so I'll just go down, man. You're just going to head down the trap door? Yeah. Yes. All right. So you you make your like way down this yes, short yeah. ladder, and there's a light flickering in there. There's a candle light, and you don't hear sounds of anybody or anything talking. There, you, you go down a dark, damp tunnel, barely wide enough for a grown man to walk in. But you, being a halfling, have no problems. Uh, right. Small nicks are carved on both sides of the corridor, holding a series of crude stone sculptures. Uh, go ahead, and make me a challenging cultures roll to try and decipher. Oh. What these are. Okay. Challenging. Oh. Small niches carved in the side. I said next niches. Carved, crude, carved stone sculptures. Okay. All right. So you look at these, Marsh. and uh, you determine that these represent um, past wardens of Willow Lake. Okay, I take my knife and carve my likeness into. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you make, you make your way down, and then it opens up into a into a study. All you look right, around, so... and you don't see anybody sitting in here. Uh, is there a desk? I mean, in this study? Yeah, as a person say, there's eldritch glyphs are painted on the walls and floor everywhere. In one corner, there's an obscene altar. To the dark master made of animal and human bones and has been erected <sighs> in this small alcove. There's a tarnished silver bowl on it, covered in grotesque symbols and filled with a dark liquid. Yeah, I can imagine what that liquid is. <clears throat> this is not good. Yeah, bring it. Okay. Several <laughs> bizarre touching. implements and scrolls covered in scrawled notes are scattered on a great stone table in the center of the room, next to a leather bound tome with um the title scrawled on it, the Stone of Anwin. How big is this stone? No, that's the name of the book, the tome. The tome is titled The Stone of I want to grab this, the stone and a couple, some of the notes. Oh, it's a stone table. This is a tome on top, a leather-bound tome on top of a stone oh, table. Oh, okay, so I'll take Name the, the stone. And there's notes everywhere. I'll take notes and I want to take the tome, the book. Sure, sure, sure. And I'm hitting back up. Oh, you don't want to keep you don't want to keep looking, huh? And I'm taking it back to the easy. What am I going to do if something comes out? <laughs> you you, <laughs> you notice as as you're about to leave. Um, make me a stealth roll. 
Oh, that I can succeed on. And I'm oh, gonna make a roll here. Famous. La- Why would you say that? <laughs> How, what is it? Challenging. Yes. Standard. It's challenging. All right. Watch this. Watch this awesome. Bam. Woo! It's a success. Of course. Cool. Whoa, 156. Yeah, he rolled really good. Well, he's got an 85 modifier. Uh, yeah. uh, not- Roll a one, he still jacks up. Yeah, it's as, true. As you're leaving the area, you can hear like a like a uh, 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 grunting coming from an, a, an adjacent room. Sounds like someone ate Mirabella's cooking. Um, I am going to... You know, I'll just go ahead and do the old horror movie trope and peek and see what I see. Sure, I'm going to let you stand with your stealth. You peek around a corner into a small room, and um, there's an, a set of iron manacles set into a wall and the foul smell emanating from this chamber. Uh, a half-unconscious old man dangles from them, his mouth gagged by a strap of leather, his body covered in wounds. Oh, like the actual thing. Do I recognize him? Just a, it's just an old dude. Um, I don't. Let me ask you this: out of character, do you have any ties to Nevin? No, I have not. Then you do not <laughs> recognize who this were... is. I was just like, <laughs> dun dun dun. Yeah, you, dude, you, then you have no idea who this old man is. But there's two people up top who are definitely interested in this old man. All right. Well, he I will. Uh... He's like, oh, oh, oh. I will go ahead. I will go up to him. <laughs> Of course you will. Put him out of his misery. Yeah, and yeah, run him through. No, I'll uh, I'll pull the the thing, and I'll, I'll first I'll make the shh motion. Tell him to be quiet, and then I will to ungag him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Halfling. Uh, yeah. He's like barely in and out of consciousness. His eyes keep closing. His head keeps nodding down. Okay. Um, what is going on here? Your warden ask. I uncovered Wolfric. I uncovered what he was planning, and I've been... I've underestimated the extent of his powers and of his corruption. I was seized before I could warn anyone, and Wolfric has been torturing me <laughs> ever since. Oh. Um, can you move? Can you walk? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Is there water around or anything in here? Do I see water? Uh, there's yeah, there's, 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 a bowl of liquid yeah, there's a bowl of dark liquid over yeah. in the silver so bowl on turn, the altar to the Dark Master. Yeah. So you can turn into a chaos beast. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. I will, uh, I'll tell him, okay, I put the, I shove the uh, thing back in his mouth. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I say, okay, I'll be back with help. And I take the book, I take the papers, and I go back upstairs. All right. And then I climb out. I, well, I, I look out the window, and I guess I see the guys, and I throw the stuff out the window and say, look out the most. <laughs> <Just like here. laughs> here. Here's a book. And, I, and then I climb out, and it's I tell him what I saw. Around. No. There's an old old dude in there coughing. I didn't want to get too close, but I did. And he says he's figured out Wolfric's plans and that he's corrupt. I didn't get this dude's old dude's name. He didn't ask. Why didn't he come out with you? <laughs> he can't move. <sighs> How far is this window like ground level, or are we going to climb a wall? Uh, you'd have to climb. You have to kind of like scamper up into it. It's it's like five oh. feet off the ground. So you're gonna have to roll a stealth. I forgot. To get in there, not to alert the guards. I forgot. Oh, uh, fruit! Thank you, thank you for the bits. <laughs> I forgot to ask his name. Oh, there's an old guy. I didn't ask his name. Here's a book and stuff. <laughs> his book. The book is proof. I brought. You, I brought proof. Can anyone read this old tome? Probably. Okay. Well, well, this let's is look at it someplace other than under the Thane's window. <laughs> yes, I think we need to go and regroup. I don't know how long the old man's gonna last. But who's the old man? <laughs> I don't he's know. Not able to walk if, out with you. If you ask yeah. me, no, he's he's chained to a wall, 
and he has a rag in his mouth that I did not put in his mouth. The first time. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Ever. How did you talk to him if he had a rag in his mouth? Uh, <laughs> that's a mystery that us halflings will never reveal to manlings and elflings and dwarflings. What did he look like? Um, I describe him. I tell him. He was pretty beat up, scabbed up, bone sounds, showing in his chest. He sounds remarkably like Nevin to you, Appelstein <laughs> and Marnak, based off the description. I was say, That's when, Nevin. When, I'm going in. Yeah, when, when the description comes out, Mornine's leaping to try and get in the window. You guys just hey. book in the dirt. <laughs> You're like, we're going in. Hey, this book. I pick it up. Hey, this book is evidence. <laughs> Be careful. That. I'm going to try to help her into the window so she didn't hurt herself. Um, uh, you're about to get caught, and I don't know if you want to do this because it's pretty bad in there and it smells. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to take some mint or something in there because it was pretty bad. And I'm low to the ground. All right. Uh, yeah, the same creek when Grendel. Grandel, here we go. Goes in, <laughs> creak of the window. <laughs> That's for you, Gia. I wish it was a babbling brook instead of a creek. Yeah. We well, he had to demonstrate the sound because none of us know what a creek sounds like. All right, I rolled a perception; they didn't pass, so you're I'm you're through. Right here, I'll, I'm not getting in that window without making noise. I got a negative five to my stealth. <laughs> so oh get my Gandril's up in there. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Yeah, and my stealth's not good, stealth. but uh, here we go. Hey, Maydox <laughs> up in there. Same thing, that damn creaky window. <laughs> Partial success, all of you. Wow. I'm not You're good. Now. They don't pass their, their perception. Uh, I'm going to wait out here with the halfling. Yeah, I'm um, not going back in there. The halfling's not coming back with us? I, I've done my part. I think he's guarding the book. He's holding he's the book. outside with the uh, apple stain. So we're, we are officially splitting the party. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm going straight downstairs to Sure, up, so you uh, see the Nevin. same thing. You see the cavern yeah. with the little statues to previous uh, wardens, as you're told by those old ladies. This was once used as an area to, to initiate wardens back in the day. Uh, you come across the secret study that has the altar and the bones and the cup, the uh, silver bowl with the dark liquid in it. Yeah, I'm right behind. Uh, yeah, so WD forty straight towards. <laughs> yeah, May Maydoc's right there with him with his axe. Ready yeah, to go. so you get to you get axe to Nevin's cell shield. and you see him chained up when manacles hanging in there with the gag in his mouth, even though <laughs> even though Tobold spoke to him. <sighs> Nevin, Nevin, what's happened to you? He I'll immediately try to get him out of the yeah, out of the manacles or whatever. Sure, sure. You search around and you find the key for the manacles, no problem. Uh, lying in this room, the far side, it's hanging up on the wall. And again, he says that he uncovered Wolfric's uh, plans and he underestimated the extent of his powers and that he's been torturing him ever since. Dun, 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 Once he's dun, dun. out of his shackles, I'm picking him up and we're leaving here. Sure. All right. We will leave off there. <laughs> nice. If only someone could pick locks. Yeah, right? Right, right? Jeff? Yeah. I tried. I tried. All right. Not on the old man's manacles. All right. It's a good place to leave oh, off yeah. with finding Nevin down in Wolfric's secret study and all the books. And the pieces of a puzzle are slowly coming together. All right. Thank you to the players for coming back and playing in the next chapter. Yes. Oh, yeah. the Earth Master. Thank uh. you to Tom and Max and Nick, uh, the guys behind Against the Dark Master, for giving us the opportunity to play the next chapter in the story, which is going to be available yes. to Kickstarter backers. So yeah, you're getting an early look at this. Uh, I just linked the Kickstarter in the chat. I will do it again. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do so awesome 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 game uh on kickstarter right now they've already they're funded they've smashed a bunch of their goals i think we were talking about before hand west they're like 200 they're at 200 percent a goal so if you're gonna back it hey 
it's done it's good you don't need to worry about this thing not funding and also they've written they've done this thing right they've written like 90 percent of the book so it's written and uh most of the art's done so it's ready to go to print in the next few months and the combat system is very cool and you guys get to see that next time hopefully. you will get to see it it's very crunchy tables yes. on tables on tables Fun. The best. <laughs> so if you like crunch this is it um we'll be back next sunday with the next chapter of of this of against the dark master winds of war on tuesday night we're gonna go we're gonna do aliens the next chapter of that and um i don't know maybe friday there's a game we'll see thursday was supposed to be um this Hander, but it's halloween so we're all taking our kids out for halloween yep all of us parents so no no Hander on thursday so thank you again to everybody who joined us have a great night thank you to fawn and fruitzilla and Adam for the bits and the cheers and fruit for the gifted subs. Thank you ever and thank you to everybody who joined us in the chat and interacted and joined in with us. We love it. We appreciate it. Hey How Adam, everyone. We have a good night, everyone. All right.